Hey folks, good morning and welcome to another episode of Steelers Morning Rush. I'm Alan Saunders. It is Friday, December 6th. We made it to the end of the week and the Pittsburgh Steelers will have their final practice of the week over at UPMC Rooney Sports Complex on the south side as they finish their preparations for their week 14 home game against the Cleveland Browns. A big divisional and revenge game coming up. The Steelers came out quite clinch a playoff berth with a victory this week, but they can eliminate Cleveland. The Browns, however, looking to sweep the Steelers for the first time since 1988 after winning two weeks ago in a snow globe in Cleveland. As you all know, Fridays is usually when I break down a matchup for the game on my morning podcast. And then later this afternoon, me, DB, and Smitty will give our predictions for that game. Today, my matchup is going to be an interesting one because it doesn't involve a player on the Cleveland Browns, at least not really. The matchup for this game is George Pickens versus George Pickens. So many times in his career when we have seen George Pickens do some things he shouldn't do, say some things he shouldn't say, uh, he has responded well, generally, to that. Adversity is the wrong word because it's not adversity if you create it, but to those situations, let's just say that. Last year in Indianapolis, doesn't block for Jalen Warren, trying to go in the end zone, like makes a ridiculous reason for it, and the following week, 195 yards and two touchdowns against the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, he's done this over and over and over again, I feel like, where he does something or he says something that he shouldn't have done or shouldn't have said, and then he just he goes out there and follows it up with another good week. And so can he do that again? They will need him. Um, they will absolutely need him. This Browns defensive line is really good. They bullied the Steelers' offensive line the first time around. Now, I think the Steelers' offensive line will be better this time. They're more rested. They're a little bit more experienced. And the Browns are the ones playing on the short week this time, coming uh, from the West, uh, well, not the West Coast, but from Denver uh, on Monday night. So the Steelers have the rest advantage. I think the Steelers will be highly motivated after they got humbled a little bit in that last game. But they did struggle to run the ball against the Browns the first time around. And this is a good Cleveland front seven. The Steelers are going to need George Pickens to be able to move the ball downfield in chunks. And the Browns secondary can be beaten. It can be attacked, um, especially when it's not Ward doing the coverage. If they can get Pickens on somebody else, that's like an auto throw for Russell Wilson. And those guys, I mean, they heard what George Pickens said two weeks ago. Uh, you, you, you can bet. Oh, uh, Martin Emerson talked about it this week. Greg Newsom talked about it this week. Uh, and Newsom said, you know, that hey, Pickens took himself out of the play when he went after him. And that's exactly what the Browns want him to do. That, that they want to go out there and play hard against him and then get himself to take himself out of the game. Whether that's going after somebody in the middle of a play, whether that's taking a penalty, whatever it looks like. I mean, the 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 game plan is obvious for the Cleveland secondary. They are going to instigate George Pickens, to see if they can get him to take himself out of the game. Uh, because he has. He has. He literally took himself out of the play to go after Newsom in the end zone. Uh, he almost got himself ejected from the Bengals game with two personal foul penalties, only thanks to a, a fortunate technicality on the second one that he doesn't. Um, and he's got to show the world that he – is not vulnerable to this behavior or it's going to keep coming like the who every opponent the rest of the year is going to watch those interactions and say oh we know how to beat george pickens and it doesn't have anything to do with how you cover him and so obviously the Steelers passing offense is feeling good after torching cincinnati 10 different receivers has been talked about a lot uh in, in the media sphere this week I, I don't think 10 receivers matters. I think George Pickens matters. If you're not opening up the top of the defense regularly, the Browns played cover two. They never play cover two. They played cover two against the Steelers two weeks ago. Why? Because they're afraid of George Pickens. And they're afraid of Mike Williams on the other side, even though he never gets the ball. And so they got to have deep coverage help because they're afraid. If teams stop being afraid of George Pickens, this is a very easy offense to play defense against especially with teams with really good defensive lines that can slow down a running game 
Um, the Steelers are, should not expect to run wild over the Cleveland Browns. They just should not. Um, they should, however, be expected to pass almost at will against the Cleveland Browns, but they've got to have their star receiver's head in the game. George did this to himself. We'll see if he is able to overcome the adversity that he created with his own comments, with his own actions, and keep himself from being taken out of this game because the Steelers need him. And I think throwing the ball to George Pickens is the best way the Steelers have to move the ball down the field. And the threat of George Pickens is absolutely essential for all the rest of that passing game that you saw cooking against the Cincinnati Bengals. That's all I get for now. Full predictions later with Smitty and DB in the afternoon drive. Like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications here on the YouTube channel so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you a little bit later.